Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In February 2024, images emerged on Russian social media depicting a fully intact US Bradley M2A2 infantry fighting vehicle, stripped of its essential equipment. This occurrence underscores Russia's interest in examining technologies developed by NATO militaries. This wasn't the first instance. In July 2023, similar images surfaced featuring a captured Swedish CV-9040 IFV, also subjected to equipment analysis. The procurement of the US Bradley M2A2 by the Russian army holds multifaceted implications and potential applications. Firstly, scrutinizing vehicles like the Bradley M2A2 and the Swedish CV-9040, tailored for NATO forces, could furnish the Russian military with crucial insights into the latest technologies, engineering methodologies, and design paradigms employed by Western militaries. This intel could illuminate both strengths and weaknesses in these vehicles' design, operational tactics, and capabilities. The examination of these captured vehicles might assist Russian engineers in pinpointing vulnerabilities or deficiencies in their armor, sensory apparatus, and electronic systems. Armed with this knowledge, they could devise effective countermeasures to bolster the survivability of their armored units and fortify their defenses against analogous platforms utilized by potential adversaries. Additionally, it's plausible that Russia will develop new weaponry capable of neutralizing Western vehicles. Moreover, the Russian military could seek to integrate certain advanced features or design principles discovered in the Bradley M2A2 IFV and CV9040 IFV into their own armored vehicle initiatives. Through the capture and analysis of these vehicles, they could glean insights into innovation spanning crew protection, mobility, firepower, and situational awareness, potentially influencing the trajectory of their future armored vehicle development. Furthermore, these acquisitions of Western combat vehicles afford Russia the opportunity to train their personnel in the effective operation, maintenance, and engagement of such equipment. A familiarity with the armaments of potential adversaries can confer advantages in real combat scenarios. This could also impact deterrence, as Russia's comprehensive understanding of NATO capabilities might diminish the technological and tactical edge typically enjoyed by Western forces. In response to such technology breaches, NATO and its constituents could undertake several measures to mitigate the repercussions of such losses. Firstly, they might expedite the development of new technologies and the enhancement of existing systems to outpace countermeasures developed by Russia. This could entail bolstering stealth capabilities, cyber resilience, and electronic countermeasure capacities of military hardware. Secondly, NATO could fortify its operational protocols to minimize the likelihood of capturing sensitive equipment, including implementing emergency destruction procedures for imminent capture of classified material. Lastly, augmenting investments in training and simulations to ready troops to confront evolving adversary tactics and technologies could aid in preserving NATO's strategic superiority. Just as Russia scrutinizes Western assets, NATO also retrieves and analyzes Russian military hardware to grasp its technological underpinnings and formulate counter-strategies. A notable instance is the R-37M air-to-air missile, whose components were recovered in February 2023 in Ukraine and furnished to British intelligence. This long-range missile's examination enables NATO forces to adapt their defenses against sophisticated aerial threats and devise systems capable of thwarting such weaponry. The exchange of technological salvos between NATO and Russia, particularly through the reverse engineering of seized military equipment, raises the question of who stands to lose the most in this duel of espionage and innovation. Does access to adversary technologies substantially enhance defensive and offensive capabilities, or does it expose strategic vulnerabilities? The equilibrium between gaining a tactical edge and exposing one's weaknesses remains precarious, underscoring the intricacies of modern warfare where information and technology represent fronts as crucial as physical battlegrounds. That's all for now. See you later.